Hello everyone, just a quick video on the workbench here about this uh, TPA3110. Um, a little, little tiny Bluetooth amplifier that I came across. I guess real quick, how I've had these speakers for a long time now. I was just looking, I made a video on these like eight months ago. And uh, had a big plans for them, and here we are eight months later. And I had them in closure, it didn't work. I didn't like the way it sounded and got rid of it, got rid of the amp that I was using at the time. So they've just been sitting there for a long time. So this weekend I started to look at how I wanted to power them. And I came across this, which is the TDA 2030. This is a 2.1 channel amp. I think it's rated at 2x8 um, and 25 for the sub. Uh, but it is not a Bluetooth uh, board, right? So that's not a big deal. I've got... Uh, you know, these little Bluetooth modules floating around, I can throw that in there. Although that, anytime you start getting the separates, you introduce noise, and it becomes kind of non-trivial to get um, that sorted out. Not a Quick clarification, it's not only the separates that can cause problems, but the Bluetooth module runs at 5 volts, the um, amplifier runs at 12, so you've got to knock the voltage down somehow with like an LM7805 or even a, a small, uh, you know, like a buck converter or something. Those can introduce noise into the circuit. So really, if you just want a quick, um, you know, Bluetooth speaker, the best is where you get the implementation of the Bluetooth module directly connected to the amp by the manufacturer. I came across this in my drawer, which is, like I said, the uh, 3110, um, which I think is rated at 2 by 12 but it's, it's best to go nice by how it sounds to your ears. Um, stated power on these tiny amps can be, you know, uh, it's not a, not a hard and fast number, so it's best to put it together and hear how it sounds to you. I am impressed with this. So these were speakers that I took out of a, a Logitech system salvage thing that I hacked last night. I made a video on that. Um, 200 milliamps here. You can see the quiescent current, I think, bounce stays around 25 or so. Um, and if I turn some music on, if I turn some music on, the sound floor is really, I mean, it doesn't have a lot of hiss or anything, a lot of hum. The implementation of Bluetooth is fantastic. This board, I think, was $5. Obviously, the speakers were free. Um, the connectivity is good. It doesn't have that, you know, that annoying vo uh, voice that you have on this thing. The Bluetooth device um, is ready to like help. It, it sounds pretty good. It's just not as powerful maybe as this one. But with these two speakers, for five bucks, I think you're hard pressed to uh, find something better. Also, the you can see the current draw is very low, so it's battery friendly. Um, yeah, so just a, a quick note on that. If you're looking for a very cheap Bluetooth speaker that's easy to put together, get a, you know, like a 12-volt battery, somehow, lithium battery, and throw it on there, and uh, sounds great.